Imagine not being able to breathe. It's scary, right? Having that thought go through your head that you might be one breath away from losing your life. I'm sure nobody in here wants to experience that. But for just one second, imagine trying to gain that breath of fresh air when you can't breathe. I mean, everybody wants to breathe in life. Everybody wants to breathe in life, I'm assuming, just as everybody wants something in life. Eric Thomas, a motivational speaker, had a speech that discussed both of these topics and how they are interlinked with each other. I decided to speak on Eric Thomas today due to the fact that not only has he affected millions of people, but he, I grew up watching him and he's also <coughs> affected my life as well as people I know. Today I'll be discussing Eric Thomas's background, a segment from his speech, and why his speech was so significant. Eric Thomas grew up in Seven Mile, Detroit. This is considered one of the worst areas in Michigan. He grew up with a mother who he was very close with, as well as a father who he was also close with. At the age of 12, due to numerous rumors from people that knew his family, he was prompted to question his mother. This question being, whether his father was his biological father or not? The answer was no. After he discovered this, he became very rebellious, distant, and stopped caring in general. This behavior and mentality led to him dropping out of high school, getting kicked out of his house at a young age, and being homeless for two and a half years. Eric Thomas stated that at the two and a half year point, he had a light bulb moment a moment where he questioned himself of what he was doing with his life, and a moment where he realized that he shouldn't be homeless and that he had a greater purpose in life. He took this light bulb moment and used it as motivation to go back to school and get his GED, and he didn't stop there. He continued motivating himself and then continued to get his PhD. Through his trials and tribulations of picking himself up and furthering his education, he also came to a realization that he was meant to be a motivational speaker. He took this realization at Michigan State University where he spoke to students. At this point in his career, he wasn't established as a motivational speak a speaker as well as he is today, but it was one of the speeches that <coughs> made his life forever. He began the speech by telling his story of a young, ambitious man and an old, rich, successful man. Being a young, ambitious man, he asked the old man, how do I become rich and successful? The old man told him, meet me at the beach tomorrow at 4 a.m. Not making sense at all, the young man said, how am I supposed to get rich off of meeting you at a beach at 4 a.m.? He repeated himself and said, meet me at the beach tomorrow at 4 a.m. if you really want to know how to become rich and successful. The young man was hesitant, but he showed up. It was 4 a.m. and he was wearing nice attire and he noticed the old man on the beach, and he walked into the water. He called the young man over and told him to get in the water as well. He was hesitant, but he went, waist deep. The old man told him to go deeper, neck deep. Then, the old man told him to go deeper. At this point, the ocean water was at the young man's mouth, and the old man grabbed the young man by the head and pushed him underwater. He held him there till he almost passed out, and then he took him out the water. At this point in the speech, Eric Thomas began to say, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. I don't know how many of you in here have asthma today, or if you ever had an asthma attack, or when, you're shortness of, when you have shortness of breath, SOB, shortness of breath, and you're wheezing. All you can think about is trying to get air, a, a fresh breath of air. That's all you care about. You don't care about a basketball game. You don't care about what TV show is on. You don't care about who's calling your phone. You don't care about a party. When you cannot beat, breathe, all you are trying to do is get a breath of fresh air. And when you get to a point in life where you want to be as successful as you want, as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll succeed. Eric Thomas continued to finish his speech and motivate the students. <laughs> This speech marked the point in his life that changed everything. After it was all said and done, 
the speech was posted on YouTube and gained traction. As of today, the video has 2 million views and it doesn't stop there. The audio from this speech has been taken and placed on many motivational videos all throughout the world. In my opinion, this speech was very effective due to the fact that he's speaking from his heart and he speaks with passion. When he was presenting and speaking to the kids at the college, he was talking from a place of sorrow, a place of isolation, and a place of darkness. And in my opinion, when you talk from a place as genuine as that, what you're talking about becomes much more meaningful. Not to mention the fact that he speaks with aggressiveness and passion in his voice. When you're talking to a group of young, ambitious college students, such as the kid in the story, his passionate voice lets the message resonate with the students much more. Due to his great speaking and tremendous passion, the speech was very well executed and motivated millions of people. Today I talked about the background of Eric Thomas, a segment from his speech, and why his speech, and his wise speech was so impactful. Everybody wants to breathe, and everybody wants something in life. So I have a question for you. When you wake up every morning, do you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe?